What's up, my comic comrades? Today we're breaking down yet another King and Black spin-off series because quite frankly, the King and Black event has been absolutely amazing thus far. So we're gonna talk about issues one and two of Gwenum vs. Carnage. That's right, fan favorite character Ghost Spider, or now Gwenum, ever since the Venom symbiote of her world merged with her, is facing off against Carnage. But there's a twist which you're gonna find out as today we're gonna break down the first two issues. So let's jump in. The comic starts off with us seeing Null's symbiote dragons flying over Empire State University. Then Gwen tells us it's where she's attending Interdimensional College, her home. So you know, the usual. If you weren't aware, it's Interdimensional College for her because she's from an alternate Earth, Earth 65 to be exact. But now she lives in the main Marvel Universe. She goes on to tell us while calling up a building, my name is Gwen Stacy. This isn't my Earth. When I got here, I said it was going to take something big for me to suit up in this dimension. I didn't mean it literally. It's raining dragons, like literal dragons. Best part, these things don't set off my spider sense at all. Are they dangerous? Oh yeah. Can I feel them coming? That would be a no. No, not happening. They're related to Venom, some villain who's fought this world's Peter Parker. But that's all I've got here. She then hears a man screaming in an alley somewhere as she's being attacked by Null's black goo, as she calls it. When she sees the guy, she says, whatever this stuff is, I don't think I should touch it. When she gets close enough to the guy, she says to herself, I'm always a superhero, even when I'm being semi-retired. She then tells the man, you can call me Ghost Spider. Hold on, as she uses her webbing to pull the guy out of the black goo. As the guy's continuing to be swallowed by one of Null's symbiotes, Gwen says, hang on. The guy says, do you think I'd let go? But as she gives one final pull, her web line snaps, to which she says, what the heck was that? She then asks the guy, hello, can you hear me? Are you alive in there? She then tells herself, I don't understand. How is it stronger than my webbing? This isn't possible. It's, it's making him a monster as she sees the symbiote take over the man. And what's really cool about this is as she's fighting the symbiote, you could see her ghost spider costume slowly starting to get taken over by the Venom symbiote with that awesome tongue with teeth. I just love that design. Anyway, at this point, she escapes this Null symbiote and heads back to her dorm where her roommates are waiting safely. One of her roommates tells her, you were supposed to be back an hour ago. Gwen tells her, I was trying to find us a way out of here before the power goes out like our phones did. We're the only people in the wing who missed evac. And as they start talking about what they should do and how nasty it is out there, one of those flying symbiote dragons comes crashing through their window. So of course, Gwen suits up once again, starting to shoot webbing at the dragon saying, come on, chase the girl in the costume made of living spiders, not the innocent co-eds. She then takes a coffee table and smashes it over the dragon's head all WWE style while saying to herself, no idea what would happen if this thing touches me. No time to be cute. Need to hit it with everything I've got. Need to win. But the dragon starts blocking the window, so she runs out into the hallway, trying to get the dragon to chase her and leave her roommates alone. She then tells the dragon, keep coming, big guy. Tasty spider hero straight ahead. Before continuing to say, when all else fails, blunt force trauma. Using her spider webs to throw bookcases at the dragon's head. Only problem is, when she goes back to check in on her roommates, she sees that her efforts were useless, as her friends still ended up being trapped in roommate-sized pods of symbiote goo, as she said. She then tells herself, no, you guys were supposed to be safe. You were pretty good roommates. I'm sorry, but now's not the time for mourning. As she starts fighting the dragon yet again. Ultimately, she uses her webbing to escape the dragon and now her symbiote infected friends. While web swinging through the city, she put webbing all over her feet so she could jump on top of a symbiote dragon and not touch it as the webbing would act as a barrier between her and the dragon. She then rides the dragon like a freaking Kyle girl. Gwen then steers the dragon into the side of a building, which is pretty freaking epic, but this causes her to free fall. She then uses her webbing to catch her. The only problem is the symbiote is working its way down the webbing to try to touch her and infect her. She then says, I swear I wouldn't use my teleport necklace to go home unless it was an emergency, but this counts. But there's a problem. Her necklace isn't working and her spiders or Gwenum symbiote starts freaking out. We are then taken back to Earth 65, not very long ago, where the jackals caught that world's Mary Jane. He tells Mary Jane, who's tied to a table, in the absence of our fair Miss Stacy, I need your help with a project I've been working on. You see, after our last encounter, I was able to acquire some of her fascinating spiders. The jackal then says, they're bonded to her, and she has a bond to you. I'm wondering if they might bridge the divide. Nothing can keep Gwen Stacy from the jackal. And as the spiders cover Mary Jane, she's instantly teleported away, to which the jackal says, not the outcome I was expecting. On the next page, we see MJ come teleporting out of Gwen's spider symbiote, and then starts free falling, and Gwen is all like, What's happening? This is not how my necklace works. But before MJ could hit the ground, Gwen catches her, with MJ asking, what the hell is going on? Where are we? But when they hit the ground, MJ starts to become covered in one of Null's symbionts. Elsewhere, we see Null sitting on his throne saying, interesting, what are you, little light? Mine, but not mine, something else, something other, something like me. Everything is mine, and now I shall acquire it. We are then taken back to Gwen and MJ, where Gwen says, MJ, hold on. But a silhouette of MJ just responds saying, would you like to know how you're gonna die? Gwen just looks up at her saying MJ, and Mary Jane says, Mary Jane isn't here, little spider, only Null. And as a willing disciple, we think we need a new name, the name of our Lord's most favorite child. And then on the last page, she says, you can call me Carnage, 
revealing that Mary Jane is the new Carnage as the issue ends. Issue 2 then picks up with Mary Jane Carnage starting to attack Gwen, while Gwen says to herself, okay, this is bad. It doesn't just look bad, it's definitely, absolutely, no question about it, bad. I think I'm in shock. MJ is supposed to be safe on my home world, not covered here in Evil Symbiote. She's supposed to be safe. That's why I left. Mary Jane then says, what's wrong, Ghost Spider? Null got your tongue? Ghost Spider asks herself, what the hell is a null? As Carnage leaps towards her, but she's able to jump up on a wall saying, MJ, I don't know how this happened to you. I don't know how you're here, but we're gonna figure it out and fix it. We're gonna make it right. MJ Carnage then looks at Gwen saying, are you so threatened by my strength that all you could think to do is take it away? Gwen replies, I'm not threatened, MJ. Look at yourself. That thing is gonna kill you. You're not strong enough. MJ then says, you don't know how strong I am. You don't know me. You left me. I already told you. From now on, you should call me Carnage. As MJ reaches her arm through a music store window, grabbing a guitar, turning it into a symbiote axe, swinging it at Ghost Spider. But luckily, Ghost Spider is able to jump out of the way. Ghost Spider then says, MJ, Carnage, I don't wanna fight you and I know you don't wanna fight me either. We're friends, MJ. Carnage then says, friends? Gwen is like, yeah, sixth grade, remember? Carnage tells her, I remember that Peter Parker died in your arms. I remember that you left us. You let our whole band, all your friends get kidnapped by a madman. You made the world a worse place, and then you left your mess for us to clean up. And as Carnage continues to verbally assault Gwen, she swings the axe at her again. But Ghost Spider dodges again, asking herself, did I really hurt her this badly? Has she always been this mad at me? Or is this the symbiote speaking? At this point, Ghost Spider is able to use her webbing to stick Carnage and her axe to the wall. While Carnage can't move, Gwen goes over to check out the symbiote axe, saying to herself, need to stop her, need to get my suit, the spiders, off her axe. I can't make objects as big out of my suit. These are my spiders, but they're running away from me. What the? If you don't know what Gwen is talking about, her symbiote is made out of synthetic slime or spiders from her world. So it's different from the main continuity symbiotes. Anyway, right after this, Carnage tells Gwen, not your Stacy, referring to the spiders Gwen was just looking at. For once, something is not yours. Nothing is yours anymore. Everything belongs to Null. As Carnage breaks free, she grabs Ghost Spider by the leg and then slams her through some sort of symbiote portal, transporting Gwen to the symbiote hive where Null is. Null then looks at Gwen saying, your friend is safe, or rather what remains of her. Gwen then asks, who are you? He says, according to the colors you wear, you're God. Gwen then says to herself, okay, this guy. I bet this guy is Null. Null, ever intrigued by Gwen because she's wearing a synthetic symbiote, one that doesn't belong to his hive, says, what are you, little light? Why are you not mine already? She replies, where I came from, we figured out a long time ago that you can't own people. Null then looks at her with a terrifying smile saying, did you now? Well, I own your friend. I must admit, most people put up more of a fight. She harbors a lot of rage towards you, little light. Any idea why? No? Let me show you. Null then pulls up a symbiote crystal ball of sorts, showing Gwen instances of the two of them from a long time ago on their Earth, Earth 65. And we see that Mary Jane has always had resentment towards Gwen, as she felt like she and their band was never a priority for Gwen. But in actuality, it was just that Gwen would be MIA and lost in thought all the time because she was Ghost Spider fighting villains like the Lizard. Back in the present, Null tells Gwen, See child, you nurtured this rage. I would be impressed if I thought you had any idea what you had done. Gwen then tells Null, but MJ was my friend. Null says, she was, and now she's mine, a conduit between whatever you are and my glory until you can accept it. She asks, what do you mean accept it? He tells her, can you feel me knocking? She then says, you can't come in while trying to kick him, but he just grabs her leg saying, you dare, this is my domain. My kingdom in the space at the center of the hive is mine. So too will you be, as he throws her back out of the symbiote portal where Carnage is waiting for her. Carnage then tells Gwen, yield to Null. She says, no, I don't think so. Are you even still in there, MJ? If you could hear me, say something. MJ says, I told you my name is Carnage, as she grabs the guitar, turning it into an axe once again, swinging it at Ghost Spider. The two then continue to have an epic fight, while Gwen tells MJ, we have to fix you. MJ says, I'm perfect as I am. And Gwen tells her, if your suit is anything like mine, you're not. It's going to kill you. It's a monster, MJ, and it's eating you alive. I feel it every day, but my powers hold it off. I'm resistant to it, but you're not, Carnage. MJ, please. MJ's head then pops out of the Carnage symbiote for a second, saying, you mean, no, no. But then the Carnage symbiote takes over her again, saying, you're lying. Ghost Spider then tells her, I'm not. My suit is not natural. It's not even alive like the goo all around us. It's synthetic. It's a parasite that you were exposed to, and unless we get it off, it's going to kill you, as Carnage continues to attack her. At this point, Carnage stops saying, then I don't have much time, and you, you're not worth it. Null is gonna make me a bigger deal than you ever were. I have places to be, houses to rock, people to kill, as she web swings away. Ghost Spider then says, 
You're not getting away from me, MJ. Come back here. As she chases her, and with that, the comic comes to an end. And just like that, you have the first two issues of this three-issue miniseries. And I gotta say, I'm really digging it. I think this is probably my favorite King in Black tie-in thus far. I mean, Ghost Spider is just an awesome character. She's a fan favorite for a reason. And then the fact that they made Earth-65 Mary Jane the new Carnage is really cool. It's a twist that thankfully I didn't see coming, but it makes all the sense in the world and it's making it a really fun story. So I'm excited to see how this all ends in issue three, which comes out March 3rd. And I kind of want this MJ to keep the Carnage symbiote for a while. I think it would be really cool going forward to make this like an ongoing rivalry. Anyway, don't worry, my face will be right back here come March when issue 3 drops to tell you how it all ends. But what do you guys think of this miniseries? Are you digging it? Let us know down in the comments. And just like that, my comic comrades, that brings today's episode to a close. But if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to check out this one right here. And as always, if you like our content, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. It always helps us out. But I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics.